Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about all things wax, candle, storage, all that fun stuff. So if that interests you, please stick around. Okay, let's get into this. We've got a lot to talk about. I haven't done one of these videos in quite some time. So in case you're new, hi, welcome, please subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I will tell you what's on my lips and what's on my nails before we go further, because if I don't, you ask. So on the base of my lips, I have Warm Me Up 235 by Maybelline. And on top, something a little different, uh, we have Salted Caramel from Bite Beauty in from their French Press line. Now this is discontinued, but I'm th I know you can find it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, all that kind of thing. So that is what's on my lip. What's on my nails is Smokin' Hot by Essie. And I love this one. I have been wearing it quite a bit and it's great. Love it. I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time. I looked back and I went, holy cow, it's been far too long and I've moved and things have changed. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you a quick clip on where, where I kind of keep everything. Okay, so then this is the remainder of where my candles are. Um, this one's been providing a little bit of, uh, I love this Frosted Cranberry candle, but it's starting to smell sooty. So I'm wondering, do you guys want me to do a chopping video to show you, now that I know how to edit, <laughs> how I chop my candles? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, we have a picture of Miss Willow Quartz, of course. And we have my Candle Daddy candles. We have like one of the most popular candles that never came back <laughs> winter mint and spruce i was gifted that by a lovely friend and subscriber and then we have a little wee candle here from ava and then aveda champure um chapters candle two of house of siage and one of Vulispa. all right just a quick pano over here this little like island thing this has no wax in it you guys see my monthly wax melt picks probably one of my most popular videos. So when I finish doing that video, I actually separate everything in bags. So I'm just going to show you guys first off. I have a basket here. These are things I'm using right now. Like I like to use things up. So over here I have a list of these are my melts for the living room, the bathroom, the bedroom, same thing for each day. So I just do them for each day and as a space becomes available. I take from what's what I'm currently going through. And as I am emptying out my current stash, I will then take from one of these bags to add on to. So I'll just kind of really quickly go through this. I have this one bag here. This is a Starbucks bag because this is all of my coffee and tea scents. Then this one here is my, is it my bathroom? Yes, this is my bathroom scented wax. So I do for my pulls for the whole month. This is what I do. I take from, after I finish that video, I start separating them. So coffee and tea scents, bathroom scents. We have bedroom scents here, but I do pull from, the majority of it is the living room. So this is a lot of the things from the living room. I kept some of the Christmas tree type scents out because it is December and I really, really want to make my faux tree <laughs> make it smell like it's for real but i do pull a lot from this is always bigger and kind of put them where, where it's not used a lot of my coffee because i don't have a lot um so i just have the coffee once a week maybe coffee or tea scents um and as things again as they finish or as i'm using them i will put them here finished products here candle that i'm burning with the container so it reminds me to show you guys uh, basically what i'm melting um, and then we have all these ones are still not complete. We still have some items left in here. These are all the things I'm working on. This is my system. This here is just a really old knife. I use the freezer method to remove my wax from my wax melting trays. So sometimes they become a little difficult. So I just need a little, little sharpness of the knife to make that pop out. And I always put my current nail polish on um, here to remind me when I do a video to have this out and available. So if I don't, I sometimes forget and I still forget. Uh, That's just a little rundown and I'll get a little bit more specific in a moment. So when it comes to storage um, and candles, if you shop at Bath and Body Works and that's predominantly where you do buy your candles, um, although this does fit a lot of other bases, but you wanna keep the same height. Um, always ask Bath and Body Works if you can take these home with you. Um, if you're buying, normally back in my day, um, I would buy probably two crates worth. So I'd be 12 candles each time I went in. That was back in the day. Um, so anyway, I, because they fit perfectly in those really large bags, I would just ask, can I please keep those two? And I would start, and back in my day when I had 161 three-wick candles, 
they were stacked. I had massive amounts of stacks uh, of candles, <laughs> mostly Bath & Body Works. But yes, if you can ask Bath & Body Works when you are there purchasing, uh, ask if you can keep this. Normally they won't do that unless you're buying a significant amount. Um, and significant can be different from place to place, but I'd say probably six or more. So there you go, that's one thing. I would definitely say for storage, and that's how I store a lot of my Bath & Body Works when I did have a lot of Bath & Body Works. So I told you guys when we moved here to Halifax that I really have very little storage. Um, every closet, and you have to excuse, the fan goes on right away. So this is actually, oddly enough, we have a tub and shower over here. And then there was a shower over here, don't get me wrong, it's cool, but we don't use it, but we need the storage. We have no storage locker. So as you can see, I have a big candle here, but the majority of my backup wax, these are like Bath & Body Works. Um, I'll show you a little closer in detail in the, in the video here. Um, more Bath & Body Works and some other vendors here, and then more vendors, mostly Super Tarts. And then I'm going to show you a little bit about this. So we'll get into some nitty gritty, I'll show you guys some close ups, but that's why I, I I tend to only like to go into this once a month because it just, you know, it's not pleasant. <laughs> it's not a pleasant experience. These bins, I know I picked up at Walmart for like $9.99 Canadian. They're not super expensive. You can find anything that the size is right. If you're not, if you're concerned about the heights of your wax or the heights of how you want to store things, take the tallest thing with you to the store and, and measure it out. So. so on top of the bin, we also have, I like neat and tidy. I don't know if you know that about me, but I like things in its place and place for everything. When it comes to wax melts, especially for the most part, vendor wax and Walmart purchase wax. I use these things to stand them up and I group them and everything in these At bins. Walmart, I would go shopping and I would buy quite a few. Like the last time I had did a big Walmart shop was in the United States. Very er Somebody is very sassy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think she had a good nap. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I, when I purchase my wax, of course, when you're in Walmart, most Walmarts will have their wax stacked. They're all in these little plastic containers. So when I'm buying lots, and like I said, when I was in the States in early, early spring before everything hit, I bought a lot. And you guys saw that on Instagram. And so as I was picking my product, I put it in this thing. Now they're going to recycle or throw this away anyway. So I just take this with me to the till with all of my wax melts. No one bats an eye. They're a great way to store your items upright in a nice tidy manner. And I like to store like all laundry scents and all like coffee scents together and things like that if I can, right? So, cause my, my uh, collection's gotten a little bit smaller, I'm able to do that. Um, but as it grows, I, just basically it's free for all sometimes. So uh, my other tip to you is to definitely pick up these as you're buying your wax melts. And you don't have to feel like you have to buy the whole sleeve, but it looks better obviously if you're in Walmart and you're getting like five or six of them just to put them in here and then it'll make sense to the cashier, I'm sure. We're gonna continue on the bins. I do try to keep my Walmart, I basically like when I had a huge amount of wax, one bin was all for Walmart wax. One bin was all Bath and Body Works and so on and so forth when it came to vendors and all sorts. Obviously there was a bin I had where I had like one-offs or just a couple little items from many different vendors. But throughout the years I've really figured out what I like from whom I like it from. Uh, so it kind of narrows down that bit. Uh, but yeah, so that's how I like to store them within the bin itself. Um, you see these little bags in the middle. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you. These little bags, these are samplers. I like to keep the samplers together. Um, this is a coffee sampler from Crystal at Rainbow Melts. When she or any vendor that I love purchasing from, Zape has got to do, Zape, Ashley, if you're watching, you got to do a coffee sampler. I love her coffees as well. Um, whenever a vendor does a coffee sampler that I enjoy purchasing from, I normally buy two because coffee is, or coffee-like scents, to me, uh, are great on weekends or days off. Just a nice, relaxed kickback when you're not going, especially in the colder months, you're not going anywhere, you're not going outside much. It's kind of yucky. So I do like keeping these together in their pouch. Um, and when I do purchase a, like a sampler of coffee-related scents, I like, I like to buy two. One of the vendors I purchase a lot from, which I don't 
it seems like a lot right now, but actually I've dwindled it away quite a bit. But I am uh, waiting upon my Christmas advent calendar from 2020, as well as I did a pre-order for Wax Wednesday, and that is Super Tarts. So Super Tarts and the Bathing Garden are kind of mixed in here. I got an order from Bathing Garden soon, by the way. Her Christmas or her holiday wax melt collection is one of my favorites. Anyway, so this is pretty much like there's Bath and Body Works products. Hi, there's Bath and Body Works products in here, but most of it is the super tarts. And I, the way, like I said earlier, I liked to keep them in these little trays and I like to keep them kind of, if I can, in order. So these ones are a lot of my coffee ones. Um, yeah, so there's like coffee and then I have bathroom and then I have bakery. And if you're wanting to know why, how, you know what, honestly, I'll say it again. If you guys want me to do a, another chopping video, and I'll explain a little bit more about uh, where I get these bags again. But if you don't want to wait, there's always a playlist on my channel. I believe it's Chopping Wax is what it's called. And I'll tell you why I chop my candles. Not all of them, but majority. Uh, where I get these bags and, and so on. But I also have some questions you guys have been throwing at me uh, here and there. So I'm thinking maybe I should do a video. Um, like an updated, like if you guys have any questions for me that I can maybe talk about during that chopping video, let me know. Smell. This is in my one of my favorite scents from the bathing garden from of Winter Palace. But this, this is a coin and it's absolutely gorgeous. Eight ounces of wax and it's in Winter Palace and I, I absolutely love the scent and it is available right now. Before we go into how I sort out my melting baskets after I finish my video. She's, bitch be crazy. <laughs> She's going nutty right now. Hi, Willow. Hi. <laughs> um, well, before I start talking about all of that, I want to show you one last bin that I have that has absolutely no wax in it whatsoever, but it's where I keep light bulbs, the polypropylene bags, more of these little these little bins. Um, not that I'm, I'm I use this, but the, you know there's um, the dump the dump bucket for wax if that's how you do it. There's silicone uh, things, there's scoops for scoopables. Well, scoops not my favorite, but um, I have little bits of everything. So I have cut like, when I used to get a lot of VCS or Vintage Chic Sense, I used to take stickers and put them on the back and write on the stickers with the pens here what the scent note descriptions are because with VCS, for example, Vintage Chic Sense, they do not put the actual scent notes on it. At least they didn't when I was in the heat of purchasing a lot. So I wanted to do that for you guys for my videos and for my knowledge. I have light bulbs uh, for all my warmers. Thank you to Ramona. I have many of these silicon um, wax molds, which I believe she got on Amazon. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> the cat is crazy right now. Um, and you know, that's how you can like melt down some of your candles and then make them into molds and things like that. And so that's, that's kind of, what I have in here, I have a little chopping board in here that I haven't used in a while because it's dug in the bottom. What you gonna do? You gonna perform for us? Hmm. 17 and a half going on 18 come March. Oh my God, she's gone. <laughs> All right, so that's the last bin that I have that stores like items I need and want for my wax. So probably propylene bags, little sachets that I get sometimes. And things like that so that's that now let's go on to what I do and how I sort out my melting baskets each month so I sort my melting baskets which are a very popular video on my channel you guys really do enjoy watching that and that that's awesome so you guys know that what I do is each month I will rotate and bring some of the things that I had from last month that I did not complete but a lot of times I will add newer things and either newer things or things I'm pulling out that have been you know in my collection for a year kind of things after I cut from that video I literally take all these bags I have four of them I have one that I sort out for what's this one this one's coffee and this is the reason why I kept the Starbucks bag of coffee coffee and tea scents such as We've got Southbound Cafe, Southbound Candle Co. Cafe Cream Puffs, an absolute staple. We also have the Bathe and Gardens Elf Morning Blend, Zombie Land from Super Tarts, like anything coffee or tea related, that's exactly where I, what I do. And I like to melt the coffee right now, at least once a week, because I, I'm trying to hold on to my coffee. There's not a lot. Um, I feel vendors need to do more coffee. So anyway, this is my opinion, but that's what I do for that one. So that's the coffee bag. 
The next bag I have, I just pulled out an old Bath and Body Works bag that I had, and this is going to be my laundry or bit like bathroom type scents that I would use for the bathroom melters. So I've got laundry basket from Sensationals. I've got uh, Chomper, which is from the Jaws line at Super Tarts. Favorite laundry scent from Super Tarts was just Minerva, which can throw for like a thousand days, I swear to God. So again, I like to do that. And as these bags get a little low in the month, or I feel like I need to, I'll pull from the, the last one I'll show you. This one is Bedroom Melt. Again, as, I, I'm, as I'm going through it, if I feel like I need to pull from something, another bag, like my my living room scents, I'll do that. But for example, we have Winter Palace because this is like a really one of my favorite uh, scents from any vendor. We also have things like Magic Spell from Sensationals, Scentsy's Lavender and White Blossom, or Lavender White Balsam. And the last thing I have in here, so I'm, I'm probably gonna end up having to pull from this next bag, but this is the Pink Sugar Berry. So again, this becomes the bedroom scents. I like more like uh, lavendery, like like calming kind of scents, and like obviously vanilla balsam I'm doing because it's you know December. So the last bag is this big one, and I have a couple overflow on the table still out there as you sh as you saw earlier that I wanted to pull aside that are mostly balsam type scents or Christmas tree type scents because you know I want to have them handy because we have a faux Christmas. Tree. This is the big bag of all sorts of things. Uh, from previous years from like this is probably one of my oldest wax this is campfire tales from vintage chic scents but that was been in my basket for quite some time I finally cut the whole thing up I have from the candle daddy dragon's blood but I also have my Christmas advent leftovers from super tarts but I also have like bishops from super tarts let's see what else we've got here uh, cranberry fig from the bathing garden. I have some Bath and Body Works candles down below when I see like my favorite One of my favorite scents. This is from Super Tarts. This is Beauty and the Beast, Blackberry, and Magically Delicious. So again, if I feel like those other bags are getting low and I need to like re replenish it, I will take from this bag here. So this bag is always the biggest one. This is where all my melters, there's only two but in the great room area. That I will melt but because there's two I tend to and they're bigger ones I tend to go through a little bit I will more. never get through all of this stuff every month I think you guys are very much aware of that I say that before every video I do for my melting basket it's just one of those things where you guys saw how I store things or how I have to store things and I don't want to have to go in there and pull things out and apart and it's just not fun anymore like it's not fun to do where it's at so rather I just like sort it pick it melt it enjoy it <laughs> well that is the end of the video i thank you so much for watching again if you guys have any questions or comments down below please do that in the comment section but also too if you guys want me to do a chopping video answering some of your questions i do have some that i've saved by the way um but also if you have any more questions for me let me know and i will show you some chop chop chopping if you want so as always you guys be safe take care and have fun bye guys